I guess it would be remiss of me not to uh, mention and pass along condolences to the uh, people, the students and teachers who were killed in Oregon uh, over the week. Um, the tech angle on this is a little touchy, and I'm going to bring this up, and I'm going to let you guys talk me off the ledge. Uh, reason being, I just read a couple of weeks before this a, um, a study, let me see if I can find this, from the American Psychological Association, of the impact of violent media uh, over... Uh, bottom on, of the dock. It's at the very bottom there? Yeah, on the vi impact of violent media. Here we go. Time has the article, but uh, it comes from the American Psychological Association. It was a review of research going way back. They published this in August 2013. It was a, a task force. They reviewed 100 studies on violent video games uh, published between uh, 2005 and 2015. They concluded playing violent video games can increase aggressive behavior and thoughts. We've always said there's no study that proves this, and yet... Over 100 studies show that lessening empathy and sensitivity towards aggression. Nobody's saying it turns you into a violent criminal. If it did, I would be a violent criminal, and you would be a violent criminal, and, and you and you and you would be. But it, Not it, me. I don't play <clears> him. <throat> but, I'm, just, I'm, I'm the most violent, crazy guy here. But I have to say, I feel <laughs> like we live in a world where violence on television, on movies and video games is so commonplace and so brutal that we have inured ourselves to it. And, you know, while there's, a, of course, many calls for gun control and stuff, but it is a cultural problem, and it's more than just controlling guns. And I wonder if this is something we as a, as a technology community should consider. Or is, it, or is it censorship? I'll let you start, Jeff, because I'm sure you're a First Amendment guy. Yeah, correlation, not causation. Right. Uh, you, take, you take a sicko like that in Oregon, or we can name the ones every two weeks in this country. But they're mostly, that. by the way, young men who played these games, right? But, but it, it, believe me, the game didn't make him go out and do this. No. These guys had problems. What, yes. Well, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm going to get into this, and I know what I'm about to say. You don't want politics in the show because I know the email you get, but I got to say it. The problem is giving these crackpots gun, 14 guns, legal access to 14 guns. If he didn't have legal access to 14 guns, could he have taken a knife to somebody? Could he have taken his car to somebody? Yeah, but 14 guns this bozo had. 14 legally acquired guns. That's far more the problem. There are sickos, nut jobs, uh, uh, hate filled idiots in the world. And the more we give them weapons, the worse that is. Video games don't make them but, into sickos. But I feel like they may be training vehicles. They may teach you how to be, how to do this and to give you a, 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 a kind of an ideation that, that encourages this kind of behavior. But, but, but it is a First Amendment issue. Because hey, and because I don't know what to do to stop what? it, but, but maybe then we what? need to t take some responsibility. It's so easy to blame guns, but maybe it's a larger... It's not just... I agree it's guns, but it's not just guns. But before that, it was television. Before that, it was movies, right? And if you, and if you watch... Uh, um, oh, give me a violent movie. What's his name? Who's the crazy guy who did... Um, Tarantino. Thank you, Tarantino. Uh, <laughs> right? So should we ban Tarantino? Should we? Should we? Should we outlaw? Well, he has Tarantino? the right to make those. I would. Of course he does. Yeah. And does that turn people? Even if it inspires one person, supposedly inspires. Even if there are similarities. Even if they, the, the, the sicko admired that movie, it is absolutely a case of correlation, not causation. There's absolutely no real scientific proof that says this is going to make someone do what they do. These people are sick beyond sick, violent beyond violent, murderers as murderers, and no silly, no TV show, no book. No movie, no video game, none of that is going to make them do what they do. And I refuse to get caught in the trap where we start saying this. And you know, this goes back to Tipper Gore and and music. Music was going to make you do horrible things. Music was going to make you kill the cops. Every yeah. single media that comes out, somebody wants to control it, and that is, thank God, why we have a First Amendment. And and at the end of the day, if you think that people are such incredible sheeple that they can be changed by these things, then you're right, Leo. You would you already would have uh, killed a hundred people. Yeah, I don't think it don't makes you a killer. Case. I think it inures you to violence. I think we are uh, so bathed in violence on television and movies. And I and I agree. I don't. It's kind of. I'm not suggesting that we censor, uh, but, but maybe self censorship. Art, maybe self censorship. It's the latest medium. I mean, really, it happened when movies were violent, and, and and there were efforts to control that. It happened with TV shows. Oh my God, this is going to ruin civilization. It happened with uh, music, and now it's happening with video games. And and I don't think it's ever been shown that media 
have this real impact. And you can say that it makes us less empathetic, but again, is that correlation or causation? Who is drawn to video games but people who have no life? Right. Sorry, just a joke, guys. Just a joke. I don't <laughs> love video games. Just a joke. I like video <laughs> games. Uh, right? I mean, uh, so who's to say? Again, I, I, you, can't, you can't argue causation. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. I was watching an old episode of The West Wing not long ago, and they were, they they went through this big argument, you know, uh, among the whole White House staff, right, in this episode. And they're saying, "What are we doing?" They're like, "We're talking about gun control on Tuesday, and on Wednesday we're going to this big Hollywood fundraiser from this guy that makes all these violent movies." And the one person on the staff is like saying, "This is ridiculous. Like, how can we be talking about you know violence, and then the next day we're taking money from this person that's glorifying." Um, violence, and they didn't really come to a conclusion. But but it's the same. It's the same. They were having exactly these same arguments, right? It it wasn't. The point is, it wasn't just video games. It was also sort no, of no. It's 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 we media. we're bathed in violence all the time, and I I just don't I can't believe that that ha doesn't have an impact. On like, us. does it glorify? I mean, I, you sort of have to come back. I, I agree. Like, I, it should not be legislated. Um, I, it's, I mean. With between the First Amendment and the Second Amendment, it's very difficult to, to think of a scenario where we could legislate it anyway. Um, no, in, in you can't, country. and I wouldn't want that. But, I mean, everybody has a right to do their art, but I just I, right. I would like people to consider maybe the impact of their art and what. Let me let and, me go. Let me yes. let me do it. The there are very few nonviolent video games. Almost all video games are are about killing. I Almost saw I saw um, uh, uh, the Emily Blunt movie last night. You know, it's it's a it's a violent movie, it's a violent movie. That's part of what it is. Let me do the devil's advocate to what I know you're doing is devil advocating right now. I'm not actually. I, I'm really kind of uh, serious <laughs> about this. But, but but let me do a devil's advocate anyway. Though. Okay. <laughs> I would argue that if we become too controlling and too protecting, we take people away from the judgments they have to make, understanding fact from fiction, understanding fantasy from not. There's a woman named Lenora Skenazy in New York, who I used to work with her at the Daily News, who wrote a book called Free Range Children, Free Range Kids. Mm -hmm. She got into yeah. all kinds of crap because she let her eight-year-old ride the New York subway. Say, kid, go out and learn the world. It's okay. People just went crazy. And, and the overprotection that I think we do of our children and of society, the nurturing and nannying, I would argue in the long run is more harmful because you will encounter bad people. You will encounter violent urges. You will encounter anger. You will encounter these things. And you need to be equipped to know how to control those things and to know what is just play or what is just release and what is reality. Now, the sick Fs who've done what they've done obviously do not have that ability. But they didn't have that ability anyway. And this certainly wasn't going to push them. And a normal person learns those things. And, and it's not a bad influence, I think, to have these ranges of life and good and bad in front of you. If you try to control everything too much, you probably hurt the mature decision-making of society in the long run. Do you want to weigh in on, uh, on this, Andrew, or are you wisely staying away? <laughs> um, just the, I, I think I mostly agree with Jeff on the issue. Just I, I think that guns are a big part of it i mean we just we you you see you have video games you have violent media you have all this stuff in other countries and yet this is the one where this kind of stuff happens with this kind of regularity and yeah it I mean, seems I, awfully I, I, simple I, you know what i'm you know i'm, I mean, liberal. Every, I'm not anti-gun control i'm not uh, i'm not working for the nra but it seems like a simplistic fix i know it worked in australia i know it works in other countries but it doesn't I mean, every, seem every to, single... it only addresses like this kind of physical manifestation. But what caused the rage? What caused the anger? Uh, it feels like there's, it's got to be more than just say, well, if you didn't have guns, you wouldn't have this problem. You mean these people wouldn't be sick and angry and find other weapons? Well, I mean, there there are there are weapons and then there are guns. You know, we we're talking about knives before. Yeah. You could kill you could kill people with knives, but it it's it slower, makes it harder, and it's to, a little messier. To kill as many, and yeah. it's just it's a whole different sort of yeah. sort of thing and you know talking about this specific but video game switzerland study, they, I mean, switzerland it's, gun it's, ownership is almost universal they, we don't they don't see these same uh rates of mass murders nowhere near it yeah i mean there there aren't simple answers and that's kind that's of what i weasel. mean i feel like that's a weaselly that's a weaselly cop out yeah. but it's true i mean this this piece tries to make this link specifically between video games and violence but how do you like isolate Video games all I mean, by themselves. Maybe the issue in the first place. Maybe like, the issue is we don't know how to treat mental illness very well. Maybe the issue is. I mean, there could be a lot more to this. It's it's that the issue, and guns. Yeah. The, the two the two it are is. obviously a, a lethal combination. 
it's also, you know, there is no society in the world um, or in sort of the history of humanity like America, right? Um, there, there are no, there's no place in, on earth where you have so many different people, um, so many different kinds of people put together, living next to each other, having to coexist, um, and that have, you know, um, lots of differences that really are only bound together, not by ethnicity, not by geography, but by this idea, right, of, of uh, the, a country where that's based on sort of a certain amount of freedoms. And you have all these different kinds of people, you have all these different um, kinds of backgrounds, and they're living next to, to one another, and they have all of these freedoms. And so... In, in some sense, we should we should not be surprised that it's the most violent society on earth, which essentially it is. You know, going if you look at gun deaths, um, whereas these other places like Sweden, you know, like other places, they are very homogenous societies, right? Um, most nations in the world are very homogenous societies, or they have two or three different types of. Um, groups and often those two or three different types of groups, you know, have, are creating are, are committing, you know, often sadly crimes against one another and having to deal with, you know, centuries old um, debates. You know, here this is still America is as, even though it's three hundred years old. You know, that's just a blip on the radar, right? This is still an experiment in trying to understand how can you bring so many different types of people together and figure out how to live together and build a, a you know a good society and deal with all of these kinds of things, have freedoms, but also have security, also have safety, you know, uh, and, and these are part of the, the growing pains of, of building this kind of society. And we still haven't figured it out, right? There's still a lot of things we have to figure out. And this is one of the biggest ones. And uh, there, aren't any, there aren't any easy answers, but, but like we, I think the worst thing we can do is throw our hands up and say, yes. you know, oh, it just happens here. No, 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 no. I agree. We got to find I, out. And that's, I guess that's where this conversation uh, came yeah. from. That and the fact that in the first four months of this year, Australia banned 220 video games in four months, including Douchebag Beach Club, Drunk, <laughs> drunk Driver, and Hobo Simulator. But they wouldn't do that to God. If, if, you had a, if you had a video game that endorsed and explained and instructed and absolutely everything, a book that did everything the video game did, we wouldn't think of banning the book. That right. would be Godwin's law time. Yeah. Right? Um, no, book we, banning we is different, isn't it? Books, yeah, but, but not video games because they're not considered right. art and expression. Or TV shows. Yeah. All right. I, I realize I'm being a caveman in this, but I just, I, 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 I bothers me. I feel like... I mean, clearly we've got to find it. We've got to find a solution to this, right? And no, you're, you're not going to find a caveman, being a caveman, Leo. I think you're, you're doing the right things. Like we have to have dialogue. We have to figure, you know, we have to throw out different solutions. We yep. have to figure it out because that's part of living in a, a free society, a multicultural right. society like this is we're facing, you know, I unprecedented see, challenges and these kinds of things. I and we have to have dialogue to work through it. I see a lot of kids uh, spending seven or eight hours a day in front of screens of various kinds. Some of them it's video games, some of it's TV as well. Um, a lot of it's very violent. And I just can't believe that that doesn't have an impact. I don't, I'm not saying I know what the solution is, but... Uh, well, you, you raised the two points. And again, I don't want to get in trouble with letter writers and... Tweeters. Oh, I don't care. I, I, get, <laughs> I get the letters no matter what, so it doesn't really, point, right? doesn't really matter. The obvious hanging fruit here <laughs> is mental health care and guns and the yeah. combination of the two. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we need to. I I think we need to make a more civil society. I really do. Yeah. I don't know how you. I have no idea how you do that. Part of the way you teach people that is by showing them extremes, and having mm. them build a judgment to deal with that. Yeah. I think I think that we become far too protective. And I know I'm sounding I'm sounding like a libertarian there. I'm, I'm a Hillary Clinton Democrat, so you can attack me on that if you want to. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, I, I think we've become, you know, nanny state. I, I come to agree with now. And, and, I, and I think Lenore Skenazy is right. I think our children became too protected so they didn't have as much ability to judge. Um, you know, we, we scheduled every minute. We, we, we put a cocoon around them. And I'm not sure that's the right thing to do. In 1956, I love this link from the chat room, Santa Cruz banned rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> for for much the same reason, by the way. <laughs> the music was detrimental to both the health and morals of our youth and community. The ban was issued following a raid on a dance hall at the local civic center 
where officers claimed teenagers were engaged in, quote, obscene, abandoned, and highly suggestive dancing to the provocative <laughs> rhythms of an all-Negro band. This thing can only lead to juvenile delinquency and degeneracy and will not be tolerated in the city of Santa Cruz. Now, I went to Santa Cruz High 15 years yeah. later, and things had changed quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but in 1956, <laughs> uh, we have a problem with rock and roll and children. Could you imagine if well, you could yeah, look airdropped what them? Can you imagine if you could airdrop them into like the 1990s, like hip hop or something? I think I think if anybody from 20 years ago or 30 or 40 or 50, in this case, years ago, would be horrified if they came here and they turned on the TV and they saw the games. The games, by the way, are they're very, very real and vivid. They're much yeah. more so than they were even a few years ago. Uh, and now, you know, one of, one of the reasons this kind of came to mind is I was watching the bullet train demo at the Oculus Rift. This is a VR game where uh, you, I'll show you. If you don't, if you don't, if this doesn't scare you a little bit, um, then uh, I, don't, I don't know uh, what will. This is from Epic. Um, let's see, that's not it. Let me, that's actually the actual bullet train. What you're getting at, Leo, is the real, the real issue is with people that make these things right and, and well you know I, i'm not going to tell them not to but um watch this is uh this is pretty violent so but but uh, some people say oh this is the greatest game ever be alert the enemy will be waiting for you Freeze. and this is by the way in, in virtual reality so you're in this environment and then i watch this and a week later i hear about what happened in oregon and i just feel like Gosh darn it! Can't we do better? But, but but you're you're making a correlation there that I'm that you have no no evidence, no proof of the causation. Okay, that's 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 that, that linkage is critical, because just because they happen at the same time doesn't mean no no no. I don't think he was even playing this game. It's not available yet. I, it's not it at all. Well, look I'm what I'm saying. That I feel like it's trend. a cult. There's a cultural trend. thing going on somehow in this country. I just worry about it. Uh, yeah, as we all it's, should. It's the idea. It's the idea of being frustrated, right? There, there are lots of frustrations in modern life, in modern society. And, you know, the conclusion is can, can you get rid of it, get rid of those frustrations with, with the violence, right? That, that's one of the, the options. That's one of the alternatives and that too many people, especially in America, um, are taking. Yeah. And how do we stop that? How do we change that? And, All right. uh, Good yeah. question. <laughs> Very hard question. And maybe there's nothing, nothing will happen because we can't solve this, and we'll just see what happens. We're going to take a break. I'm sorry to have brought up such a downer. <laughs> Good job, stuff. Leo. Well, you're, the, yeah. you're the downer. Only, I only say that because it's traditional in uh, tech media. Never. It's, it's, it's considered never to be done in any way. Uh, criticize violence in video games. It's just... Uh, but I just wanted to maybe take a chance. There's, there's, a, there's one, one more. There is, there is a different way, which, which is a responsible... Game maker, you define responsibility, and yes, you need to do that. I won't want government doing it for us. I don't want it done externally. But yes. you can decide what you think is good and bad. And as a company that produces them, you can decide what is good and bad. As a produce, as, as a publisher, you don't necessarily publish. You don't publish everything that comes to you. Um, and everyone along the chain can make their own responsible decisions. And that discussion is important. And I agree with that. Yeah. But the answer to this is not to say let's now control that process. Let's improve that process.